Hi, my name is James and I'm one of the co-founders of Fortaloo. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your Fortaloo account. Now, before I get started, in this video, I'm going to be looking at the computer version of Fortaloo, not the mobile app or the phone version. So if you want to set up the phone version, I'll put a link down in the description. You're in the wrong spot, but go look at that video and uh, that one will help you out. Also, in this video, I'm really going to be focused on the setup of Fortaloo. If you want to learn more about how you can use Fortaloo to build your online presence or just see it in action before you set it up, I've got a different video on that and I'll put a link to that one down in the description as well. But if you're sitting on a computer, you want to get your Fortaloo account set up, you're in the right spot, let's go and get into it. All right, now if you don't have a Fortaloo account yet, you can get one by going to www.fortaloo.com and then just click the sign up link at the top to get your free Fortaloo account. Now, when you first sign up, you're going to be taken directly to the linking page, but you can also get there by going to my account and then just click the link accounts link. Now to get the most out of your Fortaloo account, you need to go and link all of the sites you upload your photos to. Now each site is slightly different, so I'm going to walk through all of them. Um, and I'll start with the social sites and then I'll go to the stock sites after that. If you want to skip ahead for a site that you don't use, just go down to the description and I'll have all the sites listed as well as links where you can just jump to that section of the video where I link to that site. Now, the first one that I'm going to do is Facebook pages. Now, Facebook doesn't allow us to upload to your personal profile, so you need to have a Facebook business page to be able to use this feature. All you got to do is click on the Facebook pages and it's going to redirect you to Facebook. Now, if you haven't logged into Facebook recently, it may ask you to log in here, but I've logged in so I can just go continue. Right now, the next thing you're going to want to do is it'll ask you which of your pages you want to give access to. You only need to give access to the page that you want to post photos to. All right, um, so you can choose that here, you know, or you can choose all of them. You'll have an option to choose it in Fortaloo as well later. Here you can choose the permissions. Now you need to make sure that all of these are set to yes, otherwise we won't be able to actually post to your page. Just click done. And then after you click OK, it will then send you back to Fortaloo. Now, once you get back to Fortaloo, if you gave us access to look at multiple pages, you can only choose one page. So you'll be asked in Fortaloo to choose that page here, but it should default to the one that you gave us access to, and then just save. And that's how you can link the Facebook pages. All right, next, let's do Twitter. Similar to Facebook, it's going to redirect to the Twitter app where you'll need to go through and authorize the app. And then it should send you back to Fortaloo and it'll just tell you that Twitter's been linked successfully. It's that easy. All right, next we'll do SmugMug. Now again, if you haven't logged into SmugMug recently, you'll need to enter your username and password. And then it should just redirect you back to Fortaloo. Now, once you get back to Fortaloo, you'll need to choose which album you want your photos posted to when they go to SmugMug. You can always change this later by going in and disconnecting SmugMug and reconnecting it with a new album. All right, next is Instagram. So we're going to click on the link here, which will link the Instagram. But you're going to get this message that you need to install the mobile app and log in with the mobile app before you can get it set up. So let me show you how to do that now. So I'm on an Android phone, so I'm going to go to the Play Store, but it would work the same on if you Apple phone if you went to the App Store. So just go in and type in Fortaloo, and we should be the first one there. So then you can just basically choose that and click on Install, and that will go and install it on your phone. Now, after it downloads, you'll just need to open up and log in with your Fortaloo account. And now that you've signed in, your, the app on your phone will now be linked to your Fortaloo account. So what this will happen is when you want to post to Instagram, it can then send a message to your phone and let you know that you click on a link and that'll open up Instagram with the photo and all the hashtags and everything you need to post it to Instagram properly. All right, next we'll do Flickr. So again, just click the Flickr button. It's going to redirect us to Flickr and then you just need to go through and authorize it and you'll be sent back to Fortaloo webpage. All right, now we'll move on to the stock sites. We'll start with Shutterstock. Just need to enter in your email address and your password and then click connect. 
Now, if you get an error here, the most common reason that you get an error is because you're not signed up as a Shutterstock contributor. So you wanna make sure that you're using your contributor account, not an account that's used to purchase stock on Shutterstock. The way you can test it is by going to submit.shutterstock.com and seeing if you can log in with your username and password there. And if you can use it there, you should be able to use the same username or same email and password when you go into Link Photoloo. All right, next we'll do Adobe Stock. Now for Adobe Stock, you need to use your FTP ID and password. So what you can do is use this link at the top and click there and then log into your um, Adobe account to get it. Now after you log in, what you need to do is click on this learn more link at the bottom. And this will show you your ID and your password that you need to enter into Photoloo. So just cut them from here and paste them into the login page on Photoloo. Once you've got those in there, just click on the connect button and you're good to go. Next we'll do Alamy. This one's quite easy. You just need to enter your email address and password. All right, next we'll do deposit photos. For this one, you want to use your deposit photos username, not your email address. And then entering your password. All right, next is big stock photo. For big stock, we need your email address. And the password. All right, for dreams time, it's another one where we need the FTP ID and password. So what you can do is just click on the link and it will take you into dreams time and then enter, log into your dreams time account. And then from here, you can just go to my account, FTP upload, and then you should see your username over here on the side. You can use this with your regular password to log into your Fortaloo account. All right, now we'll do 123RF. And for this one, we just need your username and your password. All right, and last is FreePick. So FreePick is another one that we need the FTP ID and password. So what we'll do is we'll click here and then we just need to log in to our FreePick contributor account. All right, now that you're here, you can click on upload. And then here you'll see your FTP user and your FTP password that you can enter into Fortaloo. And now we've linked all of our sites. And that's it, now your account's set up. You only ever need to set up your Fortaloo account once, and now you're ready to start uploading photos with the world's first smart AI uploader for photographers. Now, if you run into any issues or even just wanted to say hi, you can go and click the My Account, click Help, and send us a message, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you found this useful, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Also, Make sure you subscribe to the Photoloo channel on YouTube because every time we add new features to Photoloo, we post a video about them here. So it's the best way to keep up to date about all the new features and the cool things you can do with Photoloo. Now that you've set up your account, you can go and start uploading photos to all your sites. I'll put a link to a video here where it walks you through and shows you how the uploader works and how you can use it to upload to all the sites you just linked. Best of luck selling your photos online.